Hello fellow questers, my name is Amelie and welcome to this Royal Weekender reading vlog. So I am participating in the bookie trials hosted by the Queen Rachel Marie and this month she has decided to host a Royal Weekender. It is basically a weekend where we are trying to get as much reading as possible and there's also like badges involved. It's a lot of fun and I'm very excited to participate and I am a team scribe and since I had the time with all of this social distancing and self-isolation stuff I thought I would give it a try and participate since I wasn't able to participate in the winter quest. Now, before the live show that kicks off the readathon starts, I wanted to go through my TBR with you guys in case you have missed my March TBR, which did include the books that I plan on reading this weekend. So let's go through the challenges very quickly. There are four challenges for scribes. One of them is to bake something. So at one point this weekend, I will attempt to bake something. The queen has mentioned that since there is this whole like quarantine stuff going on, she has allowed us to like eat a snack as a replacement. So we'll see if I actually decide to go the replacements in order to get the badge but the first reading challenge is to read a book that is underrated and for that I chose The Jungle Book by Rudyard Kipling. I know it is a classic but I feel like it's such an underrated one. I don't see it mentioned anywhere on lists of like favorite classics. I don't see a lot of people talking about it whenever we talk about classics so I thought it was fitting. I am also going to be using this book as the book that has calligraphy on the cover because I don't know if you can tell but this cover is absolutely stunning and I feel like the title is written in a very very beautiful calligraphy way. The second book that I'm going to be attempting to read is Tilly and the Book Wanderers by Anna James. This is for the challenge of reading a book within a book. So I'm very excited. This is a middle grade. This is the first in a series. Now it is almost seven, like in a minute, and the live show is about to begin. So I'm going to tune in. And uh, if there's a read in, I will most likely get started with a book. I think I might start with The Jungle Book because it is a collection of short stories. So I think maybe I could read like one of them before I go to bed tonight or maybe more. We will see. Thank you. I feel like there's a big glare because of my blue light glasses but whatever so it is about 9 p.m a little bit before that the live show like the starting ceremony just ended i wanted to update you guys on my reading progress because there were some read-ins uh, during the live show so i made it to page 40 five of the jungle book so i have finished reading the first short story which was mowgli's brothers i believe and so far um i'll be honest i'm struggling with it a little bit because the writing style is very like shakespearean <laughs> i don't know i wasn't expecting it i didn't realize that this book was written like in the late 1800s but it's a challenge and i'm here for it i'm enjoying the story though i feel like it's a very fast-paced uh, type of story because it's a collection of short stories so like each and every one of them goes by super quickly. So far the first one went by very quickly especially since it was one that was the closest to what we know from the movie so I've seen the movies both adaptations like the Disney one and the live action one and um, I'm familiar with the story so this first story was very similar to the beginning of the movie so I wasn't too confused or too lost. I'm excited to see where the other ones will take us. I'm not too sure like if we're going to be following Mowgli throughout these short stories or if it's going to be like different characters, I guess we'll see. But yeah, so far it's a bit of a challenge, but I'm taking my time with it. That's why I have Tilliana Book Wanderers to read in between. Right now though, I'm going to go take a shower because my hair is uh, in need of a wash. I really need to wash it. So I'm going to do that. And then probably that after my shower, I will most likely continue reading. But I think I'm going to start reading Tilliana Book Wanderers. Start it get a feel for it, see if I like it or not. Hopefully I will. Good morning, happy Saturday. So I woke up this morning at like seven. I had a raging headache, but it's currently like 9.15 and I'm finally gonna continue reading. As I said, I wasn't feeling great this morning, but I took some time to like have food. So I made myself some crepes. I didn't consider them to be like worthy of the badge, of the baking badge, because I 
made the preparation like yesterday so I didn't want to cheat but yeah I had some crepes and they were really good and um, I watched a couple of episodes of The Office I just thought that it would uh, put me in the mood I'm just having a chill morning here but now it's time for us to get back into reading so before I do that a reading update uh, yesterday I made it to page 102 of Tilly and the Book Wanderers I'm not sure if I told you guys what this book is about but basically we are following Tilly the main character and she lives in London with her grandparents they own a bookshop and one day Tilly starts seeing the main characters from the books that she loves. So this is basically what the story is. So far I haven't seen where it will take Tilly but I feel like there might be adventures ahead and I'm very excited. This is such a cozy read. I wish I had been able to read that when I was younger because it's something that I would have enjoyed so much because it's such an ode to books and like book lovers. If you love books and like everything about books you're gonna love this because it's just mentions of books everywhere and I love it so much so far. But but this morning we're going to be reading another story in the Jungle Book. I'm not sure if I showed you guys the inside of this book. I'll make sure to include a flip through at some point because it's absolutely stunning. Let me just show you an example. But like here you can see there's a map and then there's interactive elements throughout the book. Whoops. And it's such a beautiful edition and wow it's absolutely stunning the illustrations were done by mina lima and uh, they did a lot of work for the harry potter films and there's even like a museum in london i believe where you can see all the harry potter props they did and yeah so far i feel very blessed to have such a beautiful edition and i'm very excited to read the next story which is Kaz hunting and at 10 I believe there are live sprints hosted by the queen so we're going to be participating in those and there's also the scavenger hunt that I missed last night they were launched at night right after the starting ceremony so I'll try to make that happen at some point today and now let's get to reading <music> Alright, it is 12.20 and I have a little bit of an update for you guys. As you may have seen, I have been doing some uh, live sprints with the queen herself and Emma from Drinking by My Shelf and I managed to get quite a bit of reading done. So first, with the Jungle Book, I finished the second story and I can now confirm that some of the stories are linked. I don't want to say all the stories are linked, but this one was linked to the first one and it featured our characters that we all know and love like Mowgli, Bagheera, Baloo and all that jazz. Okay, so I had to settle you down because honestly this was getting a bit heavy for me. But um, I've noticed that the stories are a little bit different from what we've seen in the Disney movie at the very least. Um, I thought Ka was a bad character, at least in the movie that's how he's depicted and turns out he's not that bad. He's actually helping Mowgli and Bagheera and I, I like that about it. I feel like we get a little bit more depth in the characters and everything is not so black and white as it is in the movie and I appreciate that aspect of it. So far I wouldn't say it's a favorite of mine. I'm struggling with it quite a bit because it's in old English and as you guys probably know English is not my mother tongue so sometimes reading a book in English is already a struggle while reading a book in old English makes it even more difficult like more of a challenge. It's not that bad I can definitely understand what's going on but sometimes I have to read a bit more slower and I have to reread certain passages because I get lost and confused so it's a little bit more difficult than I had anticipated but it's not that bad like quite honestly I, I'm enjoying it still it's just a little bit more of a challenge because of the writing style but enjoyable nonetheless. As for Tilly and the Book Wanderers I am currently on page 162 and there's a little bit more to it than what I had previously explained. I think when I talked to you guys about what the book was about I just mentioned that Tilly saw characters from her favorite stories like appearing in the bookshop that her grandparents own but Tilly can also like travel to the books that the characters are from so she went to Wonderland with Alice she also went to Avonlea with Anne Shirley so it's kind of an ability not everyone can see the characters and only certain people have the privilege I guess to see characters from their favorite stories and Tilly is one of those people but I'm really enjoying it it's such a cozy read and it's making me want to read Anne of Green Gables specifically because I read Alice in Wonderland I kind of want to read it because I didn't love it the first time I read it but very much enjoying this. I'm about like a third in. Don't even know if you can really tell but I'm enjoying the book so far. So with all of that I've officially earned my first badge which is a power surge one and that is to participate in a sprint like two hour sprint and I did that like this morning with the live show that was a power sprint. So I have earned my first badge. Actually 
Not true, I've also earned the Oathmaker badge, but that was before the readathon even started because that was to share our TBR and I did that when I shared my TBR in my March TBR video, which I shared on social media afterwards. So, second badge! That's cool. So those are the badges that all teams can get, I guess. And there are two more badges that we can get for all teams. And then we have all of the ones that are specific to our team. As for my scribes badges, I don't have anything yet, but I'm hoping to complete one of the books. And then that means that I will have more badges accumulated. But um, with all of that right now, I think I'm going to go have lunch because I'm a little bit hungry. And uh, this afternoon I plan on continuing with my books. So either this one or this one, I haven't quite made up my mind yet. But I'm hoping to finish at least one today. And I'm thinking that's probably the one that I would finish today because it's such a quick read. And yeah, I'm really enjoying this one. So that might be the one that I'm finishing today. And in five hours, we have the first tournament, which is the archery one so I'm hoping to be able to participate in that and I also want to do the scavenger hunt so we're gonna do that after lunch <music> Yes, we just earned two more badges. So last time we checked, I had two badges and right now I have two more. So I have completed my first book and that book is Tilly and the Book Wanderers by Anna James, which also means that I got my book binding badge, I believe it's called for uh, a book that is within a book. And I really enjoyed this book. It was such a cute, fun, cozy read and I gave it a four out of five stars. I really like the world building. I love the characters. I like the setting a lot and I just, I would really recommend it and I'm looking forward to reading the sequel. Now, um, I was watching episodes of The Office for a part of the afternoon because, well, I'll be honest, I wanted to vlog but my camera battery was about to die so I charged it. And also, um, I wanted to read but my dad was FaceTiming someone, I guess, upstairs in our kitchen and he was like shouting into his phone. I don't know why. It was impossible for me to concentrate so I put on some episodes of The Office as a distraction and it's also a nice break from reading. But um, right now, I'm probably going to finish the episode that I just started and then uh, at five we have the first tournament so I'm going to participate in that and I'll try to get some reading done before then as well so I'll continue reading the jungle book. So it is 6 15 and I have just earned a new badge because I participated in the heart read tournament hosted by our majesty the queen and the live show is still going on. I'm not sure if you can tell but there are reading sprints happening right now well I think that we just are taking a mini break. I continued reading the jungle book and I actually actually finished the third story and now I will be reading story number four and I'm not too sure what to think about this book. Like I can appreciate reading the original material but I think I do enjoy the adaptation more. Like it's not a bad book by any means but I don't love it as much as I thought I would which is such a shame. Oh well I'm gonna continue reading it. Maybe I will enjoy the other stories more but so far I'm I'm okay with it. It's just nothing magnificent. Like I wouldn't say it's my favorite classic but I can like I said definitely appreciate reading the original material that inspired like the adaptation. <laughs> happy Sunday. So it is the next day as you can imagine and I have an update. I have continued reading The Jungle Book by Rudyard Kipling. I am currently on to story number six. So I've read stories number four and five which don't have much to do with Mowgli but somehow I enjoy them more than the first three stories which is not entirely true. I did like the first two stories. I just the third story really disappointed me. That's the one about Shere Khan and Mowgli and I just didn't like that one like at all. I am enjoying this. I just I'm not enjoying it as much as I thought I would and I thought I would see more similarities between the original work and the adaptation and so far I'm seeing a couple of them but overall I think I do like the adaptation a little bit more and I do plan on watching it today. I am almost with the book and as soon as we're done I think I'm gonna be watching the Disney adaptation because I mean why not we have time I don't have a lot left to read I have two stories left and 
like this much. So we have six more hours to read all of this and like I'm sure I'm gonna be able to finish that. So let's talk about my plans for today. I plan on finishing the book obviously. I also want to do the scavenger hunt because I didn't get to do it before and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I've checked the prompts and some of them are hard so I think it's gonna be fun. I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna be baking. I'm not a big baker in general and for me that's not really like something that I do for self-care. So I think I might just take the easy way out and eat a snack while reading this. Maybe not right now because I'm honestly not that hungry. We just had lunch but later on this afternoon when I read like the last story probably I'll make sure to have a snack while I'm reading and I want to watch a movie as I said before. I also want to partake in the Masquerade Ball which is the last live show hosted by the Queen. It's at 4 p.m. my time I believe so I'll try to tune in for that and yeah that pretty much sums it up. about to earn another badge. I'm hungry so I decided to have one of those Bear Paws sandwich cookies. They're really good so I'm gonna have that and continue reading my book so we can have our self-care badge or whatever the name of that is. All right, everyone, so it is about 5.30 and I have one more story to read in the Jungle Book. That's what I'm gonna be doing right now. I was participating in the live show, but the game part was over and also like it was time for dinner and I just don't think to concentrate as much during the live read-ins. So I really wanna push through and finish Jungle Book. So that's what we're gonna be doing right now because we have an hour and a half left before the end of the read-a-thon and let's be honest, I'm gonna nail it. So I just need to get to it and finish finish reading my book so we're gonna do that and afterwards we're probably gonna watch a movie but I'm also gonna make sure to do the scavenger hunt even if the readathon is over I still want to try to do it because it seemed like a lot of fun but first let's read so it is 6 p.m. and I just finished the jungle book so that means that I have completed all eight of my badges which is exciting and let me talk about this book a little bit so overall what I said throughout the vlog stands meaning that this is a big meh for me like I'm giving it a three out of five stars some stories were good but overall Overall, it was kind of a letdown. I I don't have any specific feelings towards it. I just don't have any attachment to the story, the characters, or anything like that. Yeah, I I liked it. Like it was not bad. The prose was beautiful, but it was kind of a letdown because I was hoping I would love it more than I did. So three stars, and I've completed all of my challenges for this readathon, which is exciting. However, the vlog is not over yet because as I said, I wanted to do the scavenger hunt, which I didn't get to do before. So I will put the picture on the screen with the prompts, but let me read them to you really quickly. It says, to prove your epic sleuthing skills, you must search for the elven princess hiding somewhere around the palace grounds. Which team will prove most successful? Find book covers that include the following elements. So we have mask, gold, water, key, book, arrow, boat, mythical animal, feathers, fruit, shoe, crown, door, throne, and sword. So I'm gonna go through my shelves. I already have an idea for some of the prompts and I'll show you guys the final result. All right, so here we have our final result. I'm missing two books and I'll tell you guys when we get there, but I'll go through all of the books that I have here. For mask, we have Renegades because this dude is wearing a mask. For gold, I went with this beautiful edition of Caraval. For water, I have Daughter of the Pirate King because it has water right here. For key, I didn't have anything on my physical shelves. I do know, however, that the Starless Sea does have like keys on the cover. So if I were to complete with like digital covers, this is what I would use. For book, I have Lost in a Book by Jennifer Donnelly. Not only does it say book on the cover, but also I don't know if you can tell, but Belle is holding a book and she's also like in the library. So obviously there's books there. For Arrow, we have The Hunger Games because there's a hero right here. For Boat, we have Passenger because I don't know if you can tell in the reflection, but there's a boat. It's upside down. For Mythical Creatures, I went with Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire because it has a dragon on the cover. For Feather, I have Spin the Dawn because 
There's feathers right here. For fruit, it was easy. I went with With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. Not only does it add like fruit on the cover, but there's also some underneath the dust jacket. So for shoe, I went with Cinder by Marissa Meyer. For crown, I went with The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. There's a shoe right here. For doors, I used Yes to Maybe So by Becky Albertalli and Aisha Said because like there's doors. For throne, another one that I didn't have anything for on my shelves. I don't read a lot of high fantasy, so that's probably why I don't have anything with throne. To be honest, that's one that I'm not sure if I can think of anything. If I do find one, I'll put the picture right here, but if not, I'm open to suggestions. I want to know what you guys use for that one. And finally, for sword, I use this Mulan retelling, which is a Magnolia sword, a ballad of Mulan by Sherry Thomas. As you can tell, she has a sword. So that is it for this adventure hunt. I had a lot of fun. I had to like really go through my shelves for some of these. Like some of these were really hard. So right now, it I think it's probably like 6, 6.30 still. I'm probably gonna continue watching The Office for a little bit, but later on tonight, I'll be watching The Jungle Book and I'll incorporate a little clip right here. But since I don't have anything else that I'm planning on doing for tonight, I think I'm just going to sign off this vlog right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give this a big thumbs up. That really helps my channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!